Hello Chi Inspire users. Uh, I would like to show you how to use Calculus Made Easy for the Inspire available at tiinspireapps.com. Um, our Calculus app uh, covers everything you need to know in Calculus starting with the functions in particular domain range, um, completing the square through limits, derivatives, um, mean value, integrals, differential equations, all the way through multivariable calculus. And we also have some trigonometry assistance, algebra, exponential, and logarithms. And uh, yeah, so let's look at some uh, features in detail. For example, do the quadratic equation. Uh, you have your input window, and if you only change your input slightly, you immediately get uh, the appropriate steps. So in this case here, you see the quadratic equation formula, and uh, your coefficients are 1, negative 6, and 10. You plug them in step by step, and you arrive at the final answer, 3 plus i and 3 minus i. So notice, if I change the value here, you immediately get your correct answer there. So that is a great tool. Also, what you should know is if you enter decimals up here, you immediately get decimal answers as opposed to um, um, exact answers. Okay, fractions versus decimals. Uh, let's look at some limits. L'Hopital rule is always everybody's favorite. Sine of x over x as x opposed to zero. Um, L'Hopital rule is uh, invoked because both top and bottom approach zero. So your L'Hopital rule applied gives you the derivative on top is uh, cosine derivative on bottom is one. Evaluated at zero each gives you one over one. So your final answer is one. Now, of course, if you change your original function, say, divided by x squared, um, you would end up with a fraction of 1 over 0, which, of course, will lead to undefined. So, step-by-step -step solutions here for limits. Derivatives, that we have you all covered here, mean value, implicit differentiation, you name it. Let's look at step-by-step -step differentiation. Put in any function of your choice, get the correct rule displayed, do the steps out, 2x is your final answer. Change it to x cubed, you get that. Let's do something more fancy, cosine of x, well, that's not too fancy yet. x squared, well, here we have to use the chain rule for composition of two functions. And if you would like to use a product rule, here's the product rule for a product of two functions. And you get your final answer displayed here on the bottom, step by steps, all for you. Integrals, again, we got you all covered, got everything you need to know for calculus in terms of integrals, fundamental theme of calculus, average, um, area approximation, volume, surface area even. Uh, so let's look at step-by-step -step integration. Here is a function x squared. Power rule will give you this, as you know. And if you change that to cosine, good, we know that. This is now integration by parts because we have a product of two functions here. Step-by-step -step gives you the right answer. Make it a bit more fancy. Cosine x squared is not integration by parts, but it's u substitution here. So, yeah, it's all there for you. Final answer, sine x squared over 2 plus c. Differential equations, solve any differential equation, Euler method, second order differential equation even. Let's look at separation of variables. Well, you got you got to have a separable differential equation like this one. Scroll up, see the steps, separation of variables happening, integral setup, integration taking place. You get your general solution. 
and down here are your uh, initial values, you change them, you change your particular solution immediately. How good is that? And as I said, if you, you enter decimals, you get decimal answers. Um, motion, sequences and series, all the tests are here, Taylor series. Uh, let's look at an integral test, as you know. 1 over n, the harmonic uh, series diverges. Why? Because the corresponding integral diverges. If you change it to 1 over n squared, since the corresponding integral converges to some number, the 1 over n squared series diverges. And you should also know that it converges to 1.644, etc. So you get the limit of the converging seri as series as well. Um, how about developing a Taylor series? In this case, sine of x at 0 degree 8. Well, as you may know, Taylor has only odd exponents, so we make the exponent uh, 7, and we evaluate it at point 0.2. So here is your degree 7 Taylor polynomial. If you would like more terms, make it 9, and you get more, and you evaluate at point 2. If you want to evaluate at the point 8, you put in point 8, and there's your answer. If you don't want to evaluate it, then just ignore this part. But uh, again, any Taylor series can be found in no time at all. So we also have you covered for vector uh, valued functions and polar equations and of course multivariable calculus you can do your partial derivatives multiple integrals even Laplace transforms do you know the Laplace transform of sine of t well just enter it and see how it's plugged into the Laplace integral then the integration takes place here, and you enter your bounds, 0 and infinity, you end up with your Laplace transform. Step by step, change the original function, you immediately get um, the correct Laplace transform right here. And, of course, we got you covered for trigonometry, algebra, exponents, etc. All of this available at um, TI Inspire apps.com. Thanks for watching.